If you haven't yet, get your predictions in. Genetically different is back. Let's go, guys. Here, Platinum Jaws. Angie's fail from Shen Six. Three miners versus two. They are Chrono miners. Left of now on three minus as well. Best that is 17 and another NG IFV out for Shen 6. Left of believers in the house. Predictions are still open, boys, so get them in. Get your predictions in. Use your channel points wisely. So four miners now for Shen Six on the left side. Three, four. No, four now for Latov as well. Getting an ore refinery on the ore on the right side. Drone goes down at the top side, and now comes the NGIV from Shen 6. Latov will send his entire army to deal with it on the right side. We can't see it, but it's coming in through the right side, um, and it goes down. So the NGIV from Shen 6 will fail once again. No, 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 you'll keep your 10,000. <laughs> Shen 6 moving his. MCV to the front lines. He is friends, so he can he can maybe place a cannon up on that cliff. Chan 6 is building a cannon while Latov goes for double war. There's another barracks and the cannon is ready for Shan 6. He places it right in the middle. He's out tanking by a lot as well. 22 Grizzlies versus 17. Latov with a split at the top. It'll have to warm up. He may lose two, then eight, and uh, win six. <laughs> I win mean eight, sorry. He needs to win nine, though, right? It's best of the 17. <laughs> what? Where is Latov going here? Going in a straight line. And it's over. Oof, 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 oof. Game one goes to Shen six. Answer, you're calling me? Let's go. Yo, snark. Deeply, deeply, deeply insulted. Why? <laughs> Why are you just let me in for the first game? Oh, man. Dude, when I have my OBS open, it mutes Discord, so I, I can't hear messages or no. calls coming in. I know, I know, I know. Streamer mode, streamer mode. Yeah, yeah uh, sh share your screen, man. Let's, uh, yes, let's go, let's go. So, Shen6 with the win on Tour of Egypt. I, I, I feel like the Western players kind of don't really know how to answer to cannons in France. Uh, they're kind of uh, stumped on some of these maps of how to do that. Like we saw Marco yesterday against uh, Woody on Divide and Conquer. And Marco had 17 times the amount of rhinos as, as Woody did, but he didn't know how to approach him. He didn't know how to get any value. And uh, it's concerning. I, I think like as soon as the first cannon comes out, you already want two V3s. Uh, just to harass your enemy, force them to make anti-air or rocketeers or anything like that uh, to annoy him. Uh, that's the first thing you're going to want to do against France. And then you're going to want to consider teching up. 
All right, maybe some uh, ICs, nine rhinos at a time. I feel like if Marco was more patient in that game yesterday, he would have won. If he would have yeah. just sent in nine rhinos at a time with the IC, made a nuke, and just gotten value every time. There was one time he went in with an IC, he got three cannons in a row, and he kept all of his rhinos alive. Yeah, the uh, um, divide and conquer, yeah, I, re I remember. Yeah. yeah, correct. And that's and that's 6k in the bank for, yeah. uh, uh, right, right, yeah, and it's, Again, the patience, uh, the tech, the, the know-how, I think it's, it's something that's a little bit lacking at the Western players, like... Alright, but I mean, well, we did see, like you said, Latok uh, yesterday uh, lose two and then win eight in a row. Indeed. He lost on Tour of Egypt as well, so I... That, that's fine. Losing on Tour of Egypt is uh, no, no trouble indeed. He lost there yesterday as well in the first game. And yeah, yesterday he lost two and then stuck a rocket up his ass and won eight back to back to win the series a2 this is a best of the 17 so he needs to stretch that one more to nine rocket for nine wins consecutive snark <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely well we'll see if he's able to do it here shen sex definitely ranked higher than brian t so i'm not sure it's going to be as easy as it was for him yesterday we are seeing here uh the map choice for him is dry heat which uh Latov is very, very good at this map. Now, the Chinese, no slouches on this either. Uh, where can you find the back rate? It, it's in the Discord. Maybe Doofus will show it on screen in between games. At the moment, it's on Discord. You could find it. Uh, Shen moving is... Uh, what, what's that? MCV? MCV? I suppose it's for a forward ref to get those gems in the center. Yeah, exactly. Like he could get... Yeah, I suppose that means he's confident in his ability to control, uh, to have map control here. It's a, uh, it's a service depot. What? But service depot and then a rift, right? On the next level. Oh, and then there's a next level, yeah. Top yeah. doesn't have a next level. Oh, yeah, maybe. The, yeah, it, it does, yeah. Very, yeah, very um, interesting, very interesting. Drone gets in. Yeah, and look, look, Shen has got the Rhino numbers at the moment. Now, Latov does have one extra minor. Can he defend here as the drones go in? The sentry gun comes up. A great defense so far from Latov. He goes behind the other sentry gun. What kind of value can he get here is the question. As Shen runs to the minor, it's. Coming down to the micro, another sentry gun out for Latov. He loses most of his rhinos. Shen with phenomenal micro at the moment, but he's rushing into all of the miners and the sentry guns. I don't think Shen wants to be doing this. He might get value though. Does Let's he get a miner? He gets he one miner. He does get one miner. So and the ref. And the ref. A bit of an alt going on there. So definitely a worthwhile offensive there because now Shen is getting the gems in the center. They're even on miners. But Shen is getting the juicy, yummy gems. Lathoff is going to try to snap out this mine here in the center, but he can't. So he's forced to retreat as a sentry gun comes up in the center to help defend these miners. And Shen is currently in the driver's seat. Lathoff is tied up in the trunk, being dragged here by Shen's game. Double War Factory now for Shen 6 as well. Even though Lathoff lost the miner there, he does have one more miner than Shen, Shen 6 in total. But Shen 6 is in the middle getting gems. Yeah, so Shen's economy is going to be much better. Every dump of these gems, guys, is two dumps of, of Latov's boring uh, miners on ore. And you're going to also notice that Latov is completely running out of ore on his side of the map. He's going to try to snap a miner here. Forces him out. So Shen with a nice defense there. And now Latov out with a Desolator, but completely and absolutely broke. Shen swimming in 2k also has built down to the left hand side so he has ore there as well uh, but Latov long distance mining ore from from his cliff base here and we're gonna start seeing slowly slowly the rhino numbers uh, are gonna start climbing for Shen and Latov is gonna be left behind here yeah MCV move for Shen 6 as well he's feeling very comfortably here but the tank numbers are almost equal 11 versus 11 there's a Desso from the Desso King. Nice chip damage on those tanks. Very nice Desso deploy there. Uh, but a drone takes out the Desolator. And is it going to be enough? Shen still ahead here on the Rhino numbers. Still ahead on the, on the War Factory. Latov, I believe, has sold his MCV. He's got absolutely uh, no way of getting back into this, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. um, Engineer will go down as well on the left side. While Shen6 still has his MCV and has expanded to the left side. Yeah, Shen, Shen way, way ahead right now in this game. Uh, Sold his MCV. Dub. 
Yeah. So the difference between Shen and, and Latoff on this game, Doofus, was that Latoff went heavier economy, but that allowed Shen not only to get in and get a miner in an early aggro push, it also allowed him to grab map control, which allowed him to get the gems in the center, which allowed him to pull way ahead in the later game. Mm -hmm. So maybe going a little bit less miners and more aggro next time on this kind of map, where map control is so crucial, uh, is something Latov should consider for next time. Yeah, and here comes a huge battle, but Shen 6 is between the miners. Uh, he's aggroing into the miners, he doesn't even care. Latov takes it! Point. But Lato is going to take that fight now. If you look at the global Rhino count, he's still Shen still has a lot of Rhinos back home. Latov isn't that ahead right now. So ahead by it does three be... tanks. Yeah, it's not a huge difference. And Shen with his own Desolator here. Latov tries to snipe it out, but it does get to deploy, get some uh, damage on these Rhinos. Uh, Shen with six miners, Latov with four. Shen just uh, way ahead economically here. I think, I think maybe if uh, Shen sold all of his buildings... He might lose, but other than that, I don't see how Shen is going to lose this one. You know, I say that, I say that, and then and then Latov comes in with these Desolators and, and extra yeah. Rhinos here. And Latov is still suddenly pushing in. Shen threw away too many Rhinos on the right side. Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. No, Latov, Latov is out tanking. Pushing. Might get a minor kill here. Get some free big tank. Now the Miners are going to be in the way here. The Desolators are there for Latov as well, so those could be helpful. And any extra reinforcements for both of these players are going through a desolation field. And a Latov, can Latov win this fight? It's 13. gonna come down to the micro. As the tanks even out more or less. Latov able to get two miners there, but not an insane amount of value. So now they're even on the miners, but Shen's still ahead on war factories and way ahead on money with 5k in the bank. Latov going on broke. Catch the miner drone. There's no service depot for Shen 6, so he will lose another miner there. And Shen 6 stopped mining. He's gonna go in. This is gonna be a final push from Shen oh, wow. 6. This is absolutely crazy. I thought Latov was dead five minutes ago. And all of a sudden, we're seeing here kind of a battle, kind of a fight. It's all in from Shen. He's got more tanks. He's got the, the miners here. Latov bringing his own miners to help out in this fight. Let's you could add a huge desolated deploy for Shen. That was very, very nice. Got half of Latov's tanks there. You can see half of Latov's tanks are smoking at the moment. So again, Latov does have uh, the miners and uh, an extra tank here. But a lot of his tanks are smoking. Doesn't have the fodder. One miner. The last miner goes down. Latov still has two miners for fodder. It will oh, come down to this yeah, battle. Looks like Latov, Latov takes it. Win this fight. Latov takes it, boys. What? Oh, let's go. Oh my god. Doofus, I was saying they're in the middle. Maybe if Shen sells all of his buildings, he's going to lose this. Somehow, <laughs> he takes a shitty engagement on the right-hand side. And then Latov manages to get value on the left, taking down two miners. Shen, for some strange reason, having an extra war factory, despite that, decides it's a good idea to go all in with his miners. Yeah, that was a weird decision. Get more money. Yeah. yeah, even though he had more money, he had uh, an extra war factory, he had a refinery on the left, he decides, ah, oh, no, if, yeah, no, let's just go all in. Goes all in, Latov with a spectacular defense manages to somehow survive, and somehow, by some crazy miracle, that point goes to the Deso King, Mr. Tokai. Mr. Tokai, Latov, 1-1 one, one the score, taking it on dry heat. Two weird decisions there from Shen6, going in on the miners top right, not getting any value, I believe, and going all in while he was clearly ahead there. Um, yeah, questionable, questionable. But Very questionable, very interesting game there. Yeah, I think if he hadn't done those two things, he would have taken the game on dry heat. So, two questionable decisions, and now we're waiting for map number three. One okay, one the score. Okay. Let's take a look at the chat, boys. Genetically different this year. NG Easy is here. GG Easy Guy is here. Erzabet is here. NVT is here. John is here. Oh, the boys are in. Let's go. Jiang Nang Cup, boys. Let's go. Yeah, well, whoever's here, uh, I mean, whoever's not here should uh, make up some excuse, run away from work. 
whatever it is, wake up, get out of bed, stay up, don't go to sleep, whichever part of the world you're in, whatever you're doing, get your popcorn, kick your kids off of the TV, take the big screen, put your legs <laughs> up, and enjoy the show as we go into game number three here, Latov versus Chan6. What a what a phenomenal first two games. Well, I mean, the Tour of Egypt one was kind of anticlimactic. I feel like uh, Latif had no answer there for what Shen was doing. Now we are seeing them go into face down, and Shen once again is going to go France. Yep, last game was Soviet versus Soviet, and now Shen is switching it up to France. I believe there are no vetoes, so. Latov's gonna try it with Soviet Iraq here, spawning top left, and Shen6 will be bottom right. A very interesting uh, matchup here. Uh, France usually favored, in my opinion, on this kind of map where, where all the money, all the good juicy money is in the center, which means center control is crucial. Now what zones out better than anything in the game? It's the French Grand Cannon. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what the France faction gets as its special unit here. Which means that Shen will be able to put down some Grand Cannons in the center of the map here and zone out all of this juicy, juicy gems here. I we'll think... see what Latov's plan is to do with it. I'm not sure, but I think Latov took down the NG on the right side. Yeah, Shen 6 building a second NG. And the oh, dog wow. going in again. I, we can't see it, but will it make it this time? I think it... No, I think he, he got it this time. Difficult the to say. Dog, dog wars are going down uh, for real here. No joke, no joke. Um, all right. Oh, uh, there's an NG from Latov. Latov putting it into a flak track. What is his target here? Now, Shen already has it in AFC on the field and a radar out for Latov as well. So could be V3s or quick tech here as the first cannon does come out. Now this this NG going towards the oil. Looks well, like it's going to get the oil. oil. Yeah. There's an All Ivan right. out as well. Ooh, yes. Ivan. All right. We'll, we'll see what kind of value he can uh, he can get with Ivan. Now the Harrier does hit the flag track here, taking down uh, most of its health. As as walls come up. Oh, is that Ivan to try and take out the cannon? Oh, the, the Ivan oh. goes down on the ORF. Yeah, because the, it was on ORF, the, the unit did not survive there. As But but Latif was just pushing in here, like heavy, heavy aggro here. Now the Grand Cannon is getting value. These Rhinos are melting. And it, uh, yeah, and, and together with uh, some pillboxes and the Harrier, it doesn't look like Latif is going to be able to get any value at this stage of the game. Now Shen with two miners on the field. Latov still with only one miner. Shen is going broke because he is making another cannon at the moment. And look, here we go. The crazy Ivan is here. Oh no, it, it explodes. There's a rocketeer right there. That's not enough, but this second cannon is going to be on on uh, Latov's miners. And, and that's going to be very, very problematic for Latov. But Latov with three rhinos on the MCV. Is he targeting? Well, he's trying to oh, get Shen six. No, Shen six cancels the cannon. Puts down a pillbox, two rhinos on the MCV, and the NG, NG repairs the MCV. Oh, great defense here from Shen. You could see that he knows exactly what he's doing here. Now Rocketeers are starting to pour out of the barracks here as the rhinos try to get close to this cannon. Oh, okay, so two of them are here. Is it going to be enough is the question uh, to take down this Grand Cannon. So far, Latov doing a really good oh, job at mitigating. He's not mining. One of his miners are AFK. Is AFK. The oh, cannon goes down. Damn. Shen6 with an AFK miner completely broke. Latov Shen takes down the cannon. Takes out. Latov wins wow. it. Let's go. Shen6 wow. was talking in check. I don't, uh, chat. I don't know what's going on. But I believe it is 2-1 for Latov. That is insane. Bug. Yeah, they're saying bug. But wow. What kind of bug are they talking about? FT 53 FPS. Cow no work, so the miner didn't work. And okay, so he's saying the miner didn't work. I, again? Well, we did see the miner kind of uh, uh, bugged out there. Uh, yeah. It, it had his. It had its top off. Uh. Interesting, interesting. So they're gonna re there? Yeah, they're gonna re the last game. Damn. Uh, wow. Okay. I mean, 
He's oh, oh, they're asking. They're asking. They're seeing if Latov is willing to to re over here. Uh, so there is a question mark in the chat here. So it's it's okay on the. Yep, they're see. going again. Okay, it looks like. The... Wow, they're launching again, boys. They're launching again. Um. On the one hand, uh, I've kind of... What, what? They're both on the right side? Doofus, is this a legal starting position? I have no idea. Okay, they're gonna re again. <laughs> okay. I, I was wondering. I was wondering if... Uh... <laughs> well, guy, it's not about asshole, not asshole. But yeah, you've got to you gotta hand it to Latov if he agrees to re... Uh, respect. Respect. Like, you know... You could make a fuss, you could be a bitch, you could cry, you could you could say, no, you know, it's not fair, it's whatever. Maybe it's not fair, maybe it is, but if you agree to re, whatever the, the case is, I think that's uh, good sportmanship. It's a gentleman's game here, uh, and uh, I, li I like that out of Latoff. Reading up here, showing that he has no issue to, uh, to re this game after a tense battle that was not easy for him, so... Again, nice. And, and and now, like, Shen knows exactly what's going to go down here. So we're going to see what uh, what the difference is. Latov might have also learned. He might have learned the Ivans were, were a terrible idea, right? Indeed, indeed. So uh, we'll see. Interesting. They're remaking the lobby as well. And they're going to pick the spawns. Okay. So small break here, but we will re-phase down. As far as I understood what's been written in Chinese, I'm, I'm no, in English. <laughs> I can't read Chinese, but <laughs> so they are don't going believe to you read. Guys, Doofus is secretly a Chinese spy. Don't, don't <laughs> believe him. <laughs> You're going to infiltrate the CNC net community. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, d dude, uh, what, what do you think both players should, should learn from that game? Shen6 lost that game. What did he do wrong? What did he do wrong there? He, he did a lot of things right, though. He walled his MCV. He tried walling the cannon. I think he might be... He might wall the cannon better this time to prevent the Ivans. Because I think if, if Latov gets to re with the Ivans, he might get it this time with the Ivans. Because both Maybe. Ivans... Both Ivans did go down from Latov, but one of them went down because it was on the ORAF. So when the flag went down, he lost the Ivan, and the second Ivan just deployed. Really weird. What's going on here? Why does yeah, Woody joins? Woody, Woody joins. Uh, don't know. Maybe maybe he's here to uh, to chill, to stream. Who knows? <laughs> Wait, what no happened? Idea. They're they're changing players. What the fuck is going on? Wait, what? Wait, let me check the other. Maybe they want to change streamers. Yeah, yeah Vera, explain what's uh, what's what's going on here. What's uh, what's going down? Do we got do we got guy and Avira in the chat here? What exactly is going on here? Okay, so the streamer where I'm at is gone. He's gonna stream a different game. I think they might have complained about lag and they're changing streamers. Wait, what? But but he's gonna stream a Woody game? What do we watch? Do we watch the Latif game or the Woody game? Hold on, let me see what I can, what I can do here. I think they are reing with a different streamer. Okay, we're back, boys. Somebody else is streaming. I don't know who, but this is Latif versus Shen6. Same spawns, different streamer. Okay, boys, we are back. Let's uh, let's get this party rolling. So, what are we seeing here? Is there a difference in the opening so far? Shen opening exactly the same way at the moment. Uh, we'll see if he has any other type of changes he wants to do here. Uh, Shen, yeah, he leaves the two refs alive, and uh, we're seeing a, a Rhino go in here. Now, I'm surprised to see Latif not alting uh, these refineries and, yeah, and using, using the pillboxes and the Grand Cannon to his advantage. Now, look at this build. This next cannon will already threaten Latif's gems here. There we go. The barracks is out. And, uh... 
Okay. Uh, oh, it's because how fast is a bigger, a bigger uh, sponsor, so he gets to stream it, I guess. Uh, no one, no one else is streaming this guy. Uh, I, I prefer the Rambo overlay, way over this overlay. Oh, I can give you my OBS overlay. MCV goes down from Shen Six. Oh, After that boy. move. So oh, two cannons on the field. Here we go. So this is what Latov is, has left to work with. Now look at all this infantry coming in here. Latov needs to get the sentry guns out. What's that cannon shooting? I have no idea, but gets the ref. I feel like it was shooting the ground for a while there for no good reason. And yeah, he's going to get the ref. Latov is going to be forced to retreat to this back or in the back of his base here. But without an MCV for Shen, he has no offensive value, guys. He has no war factory. No MCV. The only thing he could uh, he could get any type of offensive with is infantry units and air, which is exactly what he's trying to do at the moment. Latov now bringing out some flag tracks to try and defend versus this air attack. So far, being very successful, losing that MCV like that looks to be the Shen end six of Shen six. Goes down. So officially, Latov takes it. Indeed, indeed. No, Doofus, what, what I was talking about was uh, uh, the Rambo overlay where you see which units are being built. Ah, right. Yeah, he has a different Just that, one. Yeah, that layout. I just prefer that much, much more. Um, where, Where's Guy? Guy, show us what's going on here. Get, get us a... Uh, get, us, get us an explanation of what happened there and... Uh, if there's anybody else streaming this, like there's there's just one spectator. It's only Afasi that's uh, spectating. Yeah, it's only him in chat. Uh, only him in the lobby. Uh -huh, okay. So I suppose this is what we've got. Someone tell him to switch to the Rambo overlay. Um. Okay. So <laughs> boys, that was face down. Latov just won that map twice in a row, boys. Twice in a row. Let me add guys. Now, is to that them. crazy or insane? Yo, guy. Yo, yo, what's up? Yo, how's it going, bro? So it's only Alfasi that's going to stream, right? Yeah, because uh, I, I, I'm back uh, from the gym, you know? I, I, I don't want to hear excuses, guy. No, <laughs> not me. Please tell them that I want only one observer because it was so laggy these games. Like he he told me. Oh, so Latov requested yeah. one observer and Alfasi because he's the bigger sponsor. He gets to. Yeah. I mean. He gets to be the one streaming. Yeah. But so uh, yeah, Latov quit it tour of Egypt because of the lag. It's not because he lost. He told me so. He was angry. So. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So uh, we are going to get, uh, hopefully, faster games. Now, what was that other game? I saw Woody join the lobby in the other stream. What was that? I'm I'm not sure if he will play Bobo tonight. But uh, I mean now, but it's supposed to be other day. They didn't mention about it. They mentioned to me only uh, Latov versus Shen6. After that, Marco versus Todo. So. Uh -huh. What was that uh, previous stream you were in, uh, Doofus? That's from Game Coon. Game Coon, yeah. You yeah, he, he, I'm not sure I have him. Fun game, I think now. Ah, just game just game. Uh, a chill game. Got it. Yeah, got I, it, got I it. don't think they will interrupt uh, Odi and Bobo and leave like Latov and uh, Chen Six alone because uh, like the people will be like, who should I watch? You know. Yeah, absolutely. No, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any <laughs> exactly. sense, especially if Alfasi is here with with us. Uh, I don't think Alfasi is gonna miss Woody versus Bobo. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, Afsai. Uh, yeah, yeah, his name is Afsai, but it's uh, okay for, for Snark to spell anything, you know. It, it depends Afsai, on Afsai. the accent. Yeah. But uh, the, the thing is that uh, Afsai loves to stream foreigners, you know. It's good content, of course. When you Absolutely. like hear someone out of China playing the Chinese, so like he prefers to stream this. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, All right, boys. Okay. Uh, hopefully, we'll get this uh, rolling here. We'll We're waiting see what for the next... next map pick. Yeah, I need next map pick. 
Uh, so Shen's uh, Shen's turn to pick a map. Uh, Guy, do we know why Offside doesn't use the Rambo overlay where it shows uh, which units are being built yes, and all that? Uh, this is the overlay he spent like more than three hundred dollars for someone to make it for him, and then the Rambo made an overlay. So like he sh said, like no, I, I will still use my overlay. <laughs> Fair enough. If he if he spent over three hundred dollars to get this one developed, and then you find a free <laughs> overlay by Rambo, you know. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi yeah. Highlight. <laughs> Knowing when to take a loss. We're still waiting on the next map pick here from. Shen 6. They are discussing so something. I DM'd upside. If, is there a problem? Because I, I cannot be there, you know, in the lobby. Yeah. Uh, Highlight, how do you know how it's, uh, how it's pronounced? Prove it. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's hope uh, this party let off with question marks, uh, but it looks like now the map is going to be chosen here. Pinch point. Uh, so Oh, we are, yeah, pinch point coming up here. So we are going to get this series rolling. Well, we aren't going to get it rolling, but we are going to watch it roll on. Shen6 is still complaining about lag and the minor bug, but Latov seems scared him by doing question marks and they just jump to the next game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, let's go, pinch points. So Shen6 sticking uh, to France here uh, on pinch point. I, I think if France is a favorite on this map, we often see players go France here. Uh, what do you think, guys? Are you are you guys a fan of France on this one? Uh, yes, for the longer game. If you hold the Soviet, mostly in this game for like long game, when you make a cannon flow, like for example, seven cannons, eight cannons everywhere, there's nothing uh, the Soviet can do, really. Yeah, at that point, it's tech and pray. Especially if you take the both gems, you know? You can even stretch with cannons and take his gem side. Uh, so he will be out of money. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's see um, how uh, uh, Lat of deals with this. Yesterday versus... Uh, who did he play yesterday again? Um, uh, Bryant. 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 He had a OP Angie on pinch point, went for the MCV, MCV got yeah. undeployed, and that Angie just walked all the way to the War Factory oh and my got God. it. So that was, Dude, that was... There were two Grizzlies trying to alt that Angie. Yeah, yeah. And a Pillbox and nothing managed to nail down that Angie. That was insane. Uh, <laughs> Lats off uh, the new Angie NG... King. Yeah, that NG proved that the Grizzlies are shitty tanks, you know? Like, you're not gonna get me. <laughs> and I think... Absolutely. I think he's going for an NG. There we go. Yeah, the NG is on the field here. It uh, goes into the flag track. Uh, I, I, listen, man, Latov is, is starting to learn and play by the Chinese rules. Now, everyone knows me. I'm not a fan of engineers. But the only reason I'm not a fan of engineers is because... First of all, I hate playing against them. Second of all, uh, they don't bring good entertainment in my eyes. I think if a game ends because an NG goes up into an MCV, eh, it's like I'm not really enjoying the game that much. But on the other hand, if your opponent's going to be using them, I think you should be using them for sure. Exactly. Treat them by their own medicine, you know. Yeah, yes, sir. And, yes, sir. And, I like, and I like seeing Latov uh, learning the opponent's weapons here and, and using them now. Listen, Shensex is locked down really nicely right now. He's got an NGIFV, which uh, is something to be concerned about, perhaps, but it's a, apparently a defensive NGIFV. Here comes, oh, uh, here we go, here we go. Guts oh. into the power. Oh my god, he clicked it. Beautiful micro there from Shen. Oh, and Shen blocking off the reinforcements from Latov here. Uh, this is what you call a check move. Uh, not a checkmate move, just a check. Going after the MCV. The oh, he's going to die for it. He's gonna die for it. He's gonna get it. He got wow. it. Wow. Latov has to go in right now and get value immediately. Oh, it gets the barracks as well with the NG. And here's the first cannon. Oh, and Latov's not gonna be able to get good offensive wow. value here. And, and it's just over. like that. Um, yeah. a smart, smart decision by uh, Shen6. 
I like Absolutely. It. Absolutely. That's exactly what you want to be doing. Um, looking for the opportunity and just pouncing. And putting his Grizzlies between uh, Latov and his reinforcements line was exactly what uh, you want to be doing there. Wow. So there you go, guys. It's 2-2 at the moment. Uh, a pinch point. A very quick point there for Shen. Latov making a mistake and allowing Shen to come in and die for his MCV. And Latov couldn't really get uh, value in retaliation. First of all, because he didn't have enough War Factories. Second of all, because Shen was France and he already put up a cannon by the time Latov got there. Yep, yep. And now the fight so, is over, will be the next map. Latov's choosing maps to force Shen 6 going era. Which is interesting. Well, Latov prefers facing Iraq versus Iraq, probably, especially if Shen prefers uh, France. Uh, now, we did see Latov play versus uh, Bryant yesterday here, and it's one of one of only two games that he lost versus Bryant was on this map. So, uh, maybe Latov gonna redeem himself, uh, not versus Bryant, but at least versus Shen, and get a win here, or is he gonna lose again? Okay. Both, both, both players going as Iraq this time. Both players going as Iraq. Chen 6 is the yellow player bottom left. And Latov is the purple player top right on divide. Freezes over, boys. This is one of Latov's favorite maps. He told me uh, <coughs> he likes to base trade here and just spam Desos and the drones while he base trading. So probably Latov's maybe want to base trade here as well. Yeah, so interesting. He likes to base trade. I guess Lata feels he's he's good at base trading on uh, on this map for some reason. Just yeah, fair I enough. Mean, nobody wanna base trade Lato when he got the desolators and the drones on, you know. Yeah. Indeed. In interesting uh, war factory built by Shen Six. You don't want to base trade the Desil King, uh, that's for sure. Yeah, what uh, what do we think of this build? Uh, I'm interested about this build. I never saw that before, to be honest. They did go double war, so the second war factory is bottom right. I think. I think this is a great build. I mm. think. Uh... Yeah, you could go double war. You have two oils and gems early on, absolutely, and then you could spam the miners on the right side as well, so you get extra miners on those gems. You're just gobbling up those gems really, really fast. I it's never saw oh. the war. I never saw that you could build war like top left, you know? I mean bottom left. I saw, I thought that it's not possible. No. Well, Shen6 proving you wrong. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen that either. Now, we saw the lot of doing this yesterday yeah, as well. Not getting those gems in the top right. Saving those for later, an interesting choice. I'm not sure what my thoughts are about that. Currently, both players are in a very even position with seven miners each. So, uh, so far, uh, very, very even, very nice at the moment. Yeah, pretty uh, equal, pretty equal. We're both on yeah. eight miners now. Latov just a little bit quicker on the eight miner there. And he has more tanks on the field at the moment. And their eco... Uh, Latov's eco is not doing as well as uh, Shen's eco, but that's probably because he's not getting the gems yet top mm -hmm. right. He, he will buff later, I, I guess. Yeah. And there's no yeah. more gems for Shen 6 at uh, this moment. Yeah, but Shen already has that money in the bank, right? Mm -hmm. Shen is ahead of economically at the moment. Uh, potentially can afford to go an extra war factory, for, sustain it for a while, over Latov. At the moment, very even on the tank numbers. And uh, we are seeing... Here's the fourth war for Shen 6. And he's already making a play at the right side. Indeed, indeed. The fourth war is inbuilt by Latov, I believe. Maybe he made, because he made the ref, he's behind. There's the fourth war for Latov. He did make a ref top right, getting the gems now. That's why he was a little late about that war, I believe. 
Yup. Um, so again, very, very even. Very even at the moment. Exactly the same. Uh, minor the numbers. I expect to see the radar now. Fifth War Factory for Shen6 while a drone goes down. Nice micro by Shen6. Yeah. Oh, looking at it. Very, very nice here. And uh, we are going to get into a fight sooner or later. There we go. So Latov does radar. this usually after four War oh. Factories. He goes for a radar. And uh, starts, yeah, starts bringing out the Desolators. Now Shen is already on the fifth War Factory instead of the radar here. We'll see if Guy is correct here and Latov's can try to force some kind of base trade situation at a certain point and try to be able to get value with the Desolators. Latov heading downfield to the center, Shen forced into a defensive position here around yeah, he the wants that base trade, but Shen 6 is going back. Going straight down the middle. Cliff advantage for Latov if Shen wants to take the fight there, so Shen will go to his main base with the entire army. Six wars versus four, though. Six wars six. versus four, and we got a split from Latov on the right side while he occupies mid. Shen will split to the left side, and no. Latov will retreat on the right side, and then left side uncontested. Latov not dealing oh, with the split on the left. He yeah. Would lose it. Oh boy. I, I don't think he see it yet. No, you know, Miner goes no, down. And we, saw, we saw this yesterday as well. He got caught with his pants down uh, in, in the Divide Freezes game. Now a lot of trying to go back, but already lost one Miner. So two Miner. Nice little... And the uh, tank numbers start to, to prove for Shen 6 the, because the 6 wars against the 4th. So like, we will see 10 tanks more for Shen 6. Uh, absolutely, we're seeing the tank numbers just climb straight up for Mr. Shen6. Nice uh, deso by Latov though, on the right side. Indeed, uh, forcing Shen6 back on the right side there with the Desolator. Now there is an IC on the field for Mr. Latov. No IC for Shen at the moment. Shen now building a radar on the bottom right, so he will start advancing in that direction of getting an IC. Uh, what's interesting here, again, is gonna be the tank numbers. It's it's the good old philosophical question of War Factories versus Tech. What wins? Um, uh, usually War Factories, but the Tech, if you have a good defense, yeah, you know. Yeah, well, we'll see if Latov is able to pull off a good defense here. Look, look at these Rhinos. Shen has so many more Rhinos than Latov. They right have now. 10 more Rhinos, yeah. That is insane. Uh, and and, and Shen, Shen's Shen not attacking. Split. Yeah, I, I want to see Shen 6, uh, I mean, split with these uh, tank advantage, you know? Definitely, definitely. A split would be very nice. And now Shen switching into drones. He is taking up himself as well. Uh, you Latov won a base trade so bad if you see. I see yeah. is ready for Latov who is already in uh, Shen's base. Shen's going broke. He just built the IC. Latov going in, getting some free tanks here. With the IC, Latov surely will win. Oh boy. Looking good for Latov, boys. Latov in a phenomenal position. The IC gets popped. I see now gets what popped. Kind of value can he get here is the question. Shen uh, will leave his base and now Latov going for the miners. Oh, Shen going back. Shen going back to try and defend here. Latov gonna go for. Okay, he's, go, he's going for a lot of. He's gotten a lot of miners right now. Not. I mean, he's still got 11 versus 9 miners, so Shen isn't that behind when it comes to miners. Tank numbers. Eight Shen miners. is way ahead right now. Yes, yeah, so he did lose a third miner there. Or There's a split minute. from Latov on the right side, though. There's a split from Latov. Latov will be chased out oh, of Latov. Shen 6 base. Yeah, look, look at the Rhino numbers right now. Shen way ahead on the Rhino camps right now. And um, his IC will be ready in 30 seconds, so this is going to be a tough counterpunch to hold for Latov. Indeed, but Latov's on the right side. Maybe he wants to make Shen 6 a defensive IC, maybe. I hope for that. IC is ready for Shen 6. Latov have some defensive drones, I see. Yeah, so using those drones, getting decent value. A lot of them are getting in. Uh, 
We'll see if it's enough, though. Uh, it, it has kind of evened out the playing fields here. Look at the Rhino numbers right now. Yeah, they indeed, but kind of I even. see up on the drones from Shen6. Yeah, so this is gonna this is gonna melt uh, Latov's Lat army here. The question is, what kind of defense can he get here? Oh, the yeah, icy gets popped on a single Rhino before it gets destroyed by Shen. But this does mean that Shen has oh lost. Oh my a goodness! Great amount of Rhinos here. Now Latov, he will get the icy for sure with those. Now Latov pushing in here on the left hand side. We'll get the icy. Oh, looking the good for Latov. Yeah, looking Indeed, good. Indeed, it is as he gets the IC, and the Rhino numbers uh, for Latham are still he ahead. some miners before those tanks get, uh, die. Oh, oh Shen good. down to three miners. There is no way Shen comes back from this. And he's three only on miners, 11 boys. Rhinos. Latham still has a... Yeah, Shen 6 quits. Latham Absolutely. takes it. Absolutely. No choice there but to quit. Yeah, you, sure. you saw Latham is trying to force the base trade here, but... Shen Bro. 6 is... Terrible decision from Shen 6. I seeing those drones. They got no value, dude. Yeah. They got I mean, he, no he, he value could... at all. Dude, Shen was, Shen was reacting to Latov. Latov played tag with him across his base. Latov kind of did what Brian did to him yesterday. Uh, and Shen was just chasing him through. He was losing miners left, right, and center. He wasn't able to keep up with Lighthouse moves, and eventually he lost enough miners to go completely broke. Try to make a push for it with some drones and rhinos. He did get the IC with that push, but Latov with a counter strike got even more value, uh, which forced Shen6 to yeah. quit that one. So Nami will be the next map. Damn, boys. So Shen6 is trying to go navy on uh, Mr. Latov. Do you think uh, they have uh, Shen6 have better chance against Latov in the sea? I think Latov got used to tsunami by playing it much in the ladder combo. Unsure, unsure. Well, uh, we're about to find out. Uh, yeah. uh, Latov spawning Latov top left this. as the purple player, America, and we have bottom right Shen6 also going as America on Tsunami. Yeah, yeah, Double well, each. in RE2 as allied, usually uh, allied is the move here. Now, a key point here often is going to be getting those oils on those extra islands. Uh, and obviously, naval map, naval control. Hopefully, we're going to see some epic naval battles here. Although, often it doesn't get to epic proportions. It's going to be very interesting. I don't think I've saw, I've seen any tsunami in this tournament yet. At least, not that I've restreamed or streamed myself. We saw Indonesia earlier between Marco and Woody. But can they build tanks here on Tsunami or is it naval yes, war? Uh, yes, Tsunami is a battle mode. Oh, so battle mode, war. okay. So it's it's like the CNC death charge. You know? Okay, so there's also super weapons and everything. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. what, what they're going here is the oils on the other islands, you know? So mm -hmm. they can stretch and because the money is limited on one island. So you're going to see rockies fight, uh, helicopters maybe. To capture those uh, other uh, oils and we're gonna see a uh, fast text as well yeah so it's it's gonna come down yeah absolutely there's very limited like i was saying there's very limited ore on your single starting island uh two oils is will only get you uh so far here now we'll see <laughs> you know no robot tanks what, genetically what people yeah do? What most people do is just send the rockies, kill all the oils, uh, not your oils, on the other island. So you can just uh, playing, playing versus him on your own uh, or so and out, outsmarting him by making, for example, chronosphere or something. You know. Nice patriot missile from Latov. There was a good strat from Shen Six, dropping his para drop there and sending the rockies in behind. Not to spot a drop in Shen base though, but... Can I get a power plant? Maybe? Almost. 
doesn't get any value there. So um, Shen does. Maybe it could make defend. him no power, though. Maybe it could get him no power. Maybe for a second yeah. or two. Uh, he already repairs it back up, and now yeah, you can see he... on the left side he's low power. Now he get the power, so it's true. He was low power. Oh, cool. So we do okay. We do see the NGs and the Nighthawk uh, now coming out. So they're gonna try to expand here. To Shen is gonna try and expand to another island. He's gonna go for the top island. Although Latov's Rocketeers are right there, but are they enough? I don't think so. But Shen yeah, they, they must be split up because they do have the same amount of Rocketeers on the yeah, map. Yeah, it, it does. Latov, uh, Latov, yeah, Latov uh, taking an offensive here. Shen with a Patriot and a quick IFV in response. Forcing Latov back, and now Latov gonna try and grab this oil on the left island here. Looks like he's he gonna does. get it successfully. Um, and he makes another barracks, obviously, to grab this second oil. So Shen does successfully expand to the right hand side island, and uh, Latov successfully to his island, also expanding. But Shen and 6 is out tank, out rocky, so let's say. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. La well, Shen has more Rocketeers yeah. uh, on the field here, but it looks like Latov is going to get that oil. So, Latov does successfully complete his expansion here, and now putting down a refinery on the expansion island. So, very uh, interesting early game here. I, I don't feel like anyone specifically got more value than anyone else. Latov tried to attack and lost a Rocketeer. Uh, he lost two. like two Rocketeers, yeah. Yeah, when when he was attacking, uh, but all right, Shen with a battle lab out, and we should see a battle lab from Mr. Latov as well, or Tokai. But Latov is broke, dead broke. Here come the ages from Latov. Indeed, here come the ages. Oh, he, he's he's oh. diving for the battle lab. Interesting. He gets it. Is that worth it? Is it worth diving for the bad lab like that? I don't know, maybe cancel a chronosphere or something. Yeah. Well, no battle lab for Tokai as far as I can tell. Double mm. Patriot on the island. There we go. The battle lab for Tokai is out for Latov. Uh, the is... question is, did, did it give Latov the naval advantage he needed? I don't know. Latov should kill that Aegis. Oh, the Rocketeers. Oh, diving in and going for the War Factory as well. Oh, Latov yeah, was controlling the well. ground. Damn. So, uh, Latov losing Latov. his lab and his War Factory here, putting him a little bit behind. Forced back Latov to destroy was hitting the ground, if you notice, for a moment when, when he got the war. And, but he must be control shifting and and hit yeah. only the control accidentally. Oh, will this Latov get drop? The, this lab. Will he get the lab with a power drop? Oh, he should. He should. it looks like he's gonna get it, but Got not it. before the Chronosphere comes down, which is why Shen didn't sell the lab. He was already making the Chronosphere, and there we go. The Chronosphere is out on the field as we speak. Patriots being spammed everywhere. Uh, no naval battle just as of yet, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, there we go. Uh, as I say that, in the center, we do have a bit of an engagement. It looks like Shen is going to ignore Latov and try to go straight for the naval yards and just dive on them. Latov sending the destroyers back to, and the Rocketeers back to defend, but Shen already grabbing his naval yard. Latov should probably return the favor and do the exact same thing. He will, but, he will, with the but, destroyers. Okay. Yeah, but naval is going to become less important as the Chronosphere is on the field. How does Latov defend his Chronosphere? Shen's Some Chronosphere is going to be really... Grizzlies, I guess they will start spamming Grizzlies. Yeah, well, Shen is going to be, be, be... Well, have a Chronosphere way before... Oh, he's going to give oh, the war! Oh, and he goes for the war again. Latov caught once again with his pants down as Shen grabs the War Factory. And but, but Latov is killing the oil on the top. Oh, so the destroyer is getting value He, he might here. get the lab. Oh, that was close. He get the ref and he gets so much value on the top. So that is definitely a huge value for Latov. They're exactly what you want to see. Uh, 
getting those oils in the top right will slow down Shen's economy, especially since they took the refinery with them as well. And in the top left here, we see yeah, Latov going to the wall. So, so he's putting some yeah. prism tanks and walls around his chronosphere and a para drop to try and help defend his chronosphere from the attack that is incoming. Oh, Shen goes right for the MCV. He the MCV get it. goes straight down. No service deep ball, but Latov does get his own in the IFV in return. And his chronosphere yeah, but Latov is, is, is still alive. on power. He will use the chrono. No, it's Latov turn. He got the lab tick. I mean, well, he, and he got the navy, yeah, but, so... But Latov doesn't have power, so... How he does, does he... he does. Look at the clock ticking. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, he does, you're right. So he does dive. Okay, interesting. And he dove on... On the... On the... On the chronosphere with the Rocketeers, getting getting his chronosphere with the Rocketeers, that's very interesting. Um, Doofus, he's still with us? Yeah, yeah. Doofus You're chilling, chilling, huh? Yeah. <laughs> D -D Doofus, tell us if we're talking too much. No, go ahead, boys. So, uh, another cell on a, another naval yard here from Shen. Now, again, Latov losing that MCV was probably the checkmate move. Well, here's the chrono. Can he return the favor is the only he question he that anybody cares about. And the answer is <clears throat> yes, he does. So, is it a no stalemate? Tech. No, it's I not. Mean... Because Latov has a chronosphere. Shen does not have a chronosphere. No or offensive factory. value. No, no offensive. Factory. And a war factory. That's crazy. So, no offensive value for Shen is possible. But for for Latoff, offensive value yeah. is viable, which means this is an automatic win for Mr. Latoff. Does he still have a naval yard? I don't think Shen6 even have a naval yard to spam, uh, uh, I mean, ages and uh, naval uh, army. So. Now this is this is over, boys. This yeah, is absolutely no. over. As long as Latoff has enough anti-air at home, there is nothing Shen can do. Um, if I were left off, I would get a few more IFVs out on the field just to be like certain. What, what is Shen Six gonna do? He's just gonna spam Rockies? Well, that's the only unit he can make yeah, Rockies and Harriers. He's the, he, he will get the lab for Shen Six. So no more Tanya's. Oh, well. Tanya was, uh, could have been a few ideas. But, yeah, yeah, but not Chrono. an option anymore. Yeah, Chrono Legion is also. Uh, Shen does get, uh, not sure what he killed there, and he's diving for the Chronosphere, which will leave Latov with no offensive value either. Uh, the, uh one second, but he, one second. But he got the war on the naval yard. Does he, does he have the naval yard? Who, so he no, 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 but I did, I think Latov lost his airport facility. Yeah, yeah he did. There. So, yeah. so, so Latov not making, uh, okay, Latov not making Chrono Legionnaires. So, Shen6 can only make air and rocketeers. And Latov Lat can make IFVs, like, endlessly. And Tanya's and Chrono Legionnaires. And he okay. got the money as well. Wow. So, this might be a long game. This might be I don't a, know who's going to this. Very, yeah, we're very close to a stalemate. We're very, very close to a stalemate. At the end of the day, IFVs are better than rocketeers, so... I feel like Shen is not really going to be able to get strong offensive value. Okay, now offside, remember to put the naval counter. <laughs> uh, to add the, the naval counter as well. Yeah, um, well, okay, so it, now that we see the naval counter, it doesn't, doesn't really change the outcome yeah, of this game. It doesn't really matter. Oh, there is a helicopter though for Latov. Helicopters because, for yeah. Latov, uh, which is his only option of making air units. I need to be careful of these uh, Aegis cruisers. Does move his Rocketeers out of the way. Uh, Shen still making an insane amount. Oh, oh, the, the, the Chrono Legionnaires coming in here trying to get the Aegis. Oh, they do get one. Rocketeers that, coming in, though. That was doing your strat, Absolutely, dude. Oh, but yeah, Latov does not want to send his uh, Rocketeers yeah. into there. Which does give Shen an elite rocketeer. Uh, now Latov is broke by making those Chrono Legionnaires. How much they cost Snark? They cost uh, 1,500 or two? Yeah, 1,500. They're very expensive. Very expensive. I units. thought they cost 1,800 or 600. 
Sandra. Maybe I'm wrong. I would have to look. I can't remember exactly how much it costs. But yeah, they're but expensive. They are oh! Okay, so Latov does move his Chrono Legioners out of the way here. Um, Who wins in a situation like this? Well, who wins? Latov. They like, both like Shen's, Shen's not really going to be able to get value as long as Latov makes more IFs, yeah. right? And now Latov picking wins. choppers. Well, let's see. Let's see. Shen might maybe could get some sneaky value if he could dive on the war factory with rocketeers and the planes at the same time if he's able to do that then maybe he can uh maybe he yeah, can get value uh, the thing is not look at, at the top right there we go look, oh, look, look, oh, he's oh. gonna ult he's gonna ult he's gonna fall he's gonna on ult. it he's gonna fall on it and he, oh, oh, he that. so close and he just quit wow wow what a weird game, Doofus. Indeed, indeed. And Lato with a two-game lead here. 4-2 to the score. I told you, now he's going to get 9-2, uh, maybe, for Lato. <laughs> Dude, what a weird game. That was so close to a uh, stalemate. That was very, very close to a stalemate. It was a stalemate in G... Uh... Says, but I well, I mean, kind of, right? But I the suppose. Chrono Engineer can do something. So. Well, Latov could have made like 20, 30, 40 Nighthawk transports, right? And then dove on a building, right? Latov could have done that. Shen could have tried to dive with his Rocketeers, but I feel like with that amount of IVs, it wouldn't really have worked. Now, I might be wrong. But, uh, and, and Latov also had the better eco. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Weird game, but man. But if, Weird if game. you make Chrono Legionnaire and Nighthawks, it's going to be over. And, and Shen 6 is broke, so, uh, like, he cannot make any more rockets. So it's like for nothing, these airplanes were the, the game winner. Well, he had two drills and two oils. He would have been able to make more rockets. But uh, yeah, yeah, a probably long, long game. Latov wins that, and I suppose Shen didn't want to be there for an hour. Damn. Damn. Very interesting. I don't we're know. Waiting a, we're waiting another half hour for Shen to pick a next map. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Shen takes his time with the map picks here. Uh. I think he's very triggered about this loss. I would Me? Think, huh? no, he I wouldn't? Think you you think Shen is triggered? Yeah, it's a very uh, interesting... Uh, very interesting him, loss. Problem. Yeah, it's, I think he, he he didn't understand the context if he only saw that message now. I, I wrote that You're one. Much, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, boys. Uh, Desert Island. Is Shen gonna go France here? Thanks for the follow, Alex Newby. Welcome to the stream. As we go into game number seven, Desert Island, as Snark said. What are you calling a newbie? Alex Newby. <laughs> <laughs> that is his Twitch name. <laughs> Let's go. Fair enough, fair enough. And he is new to the channel, so. <laughs> Welcome, Alex. Enjoy the show. We've got quite a treat here today. We've got Shen6 versus Latov, the Deso King here uh, in the Chinese. You're going to say the name of the tournament? Jiang Nang Cup. Let's go. Jiang Nang Cup. I'll say Jiang Nang in Dutch. Jiang Nang. Jiang Nang. Let's go. We got Legend Tokai spawning bottom left as the orange player. Blue player top right is Shen6. They're going Soviet versus Soviet here. And we've even got Murray in the chat, man. That's when you know it's a good series, is if you got Murray hanging around. There you go. He, he only watches here. good content. He only watches good content. Uh, Root is here as well, saying it was a big win for Latov on Tsunami. Indeed, I thought Latov was the underdog on Tsunami as well. We don't have that over in CNC net in the QM, I believe. 
So really, really well played by Lat of taking that win over Shen Six on Tsunami Voice. Well, was it a win, Doofus? Was hey, it? Hey, his score went up, but didn't it? <laughs> his score, I, well, he scored. I don't know if he won, though. <laughs> yeah, he won. And he's leading now 4 2. Lata being giving it to Shen Six until now, boys. But it is a best of 17, yeah. so first to 9, so. What this build by Shen Six? I don't understand. It's a weird build, my goodness. Oh, he wants to what build straight down the, He wants to be able to build straight down the cliff. It's an interesting build. I don't know why he's not building towards the center. My move is MCV. He's making early rhinos here. Uh, genetically different. Hopefully, we'll we'll ask you to clip something today and get you banned if we can. <laughs> not like yesterday, guys. <laughs> oh no, he's VIP. We can't ban him anymore. So. MCV yeah, so and wanted a forward service depot. Service deep, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, so he's going to the middle. Yeah, he is in the middle. It's no? a weird choice. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what this build is. He does go to the middle. Uh, now let's let's look drawn, how much. Though. Yeah. Oh, uh, that of his, his guy, he got another tank drone, but he he would get the depot though. Yeah, he does save that tank. Uh, let's see how much this move will cost Shen Six. So far, he's only one miner behind, which isn't a lot at all. Uh, he has the same amount of money, and he's got more rhinos. So, so far, the cost of the move doesn't seem huge at the moment. Shen doing a great job uh, keeping his head in the game here, moving again to get that second large gem patch of in the middle. Uh, Doof, we saw yesterday Brian doing the same thing, you know, but different build, but Latov still took this win. Yeah, Latov still remember. taking that win. This is different though, I mean, Shen6 is keeping up with the minor production and he is on both patches of gems in the middle. Yeah. And oh, Dude, building so is forward. Oh, this is very aggressive from Shen6. And he will keep those gems in his base for later as well. Well, uh, yeah, dude, uh, another Shen great move here, great. but a well, great Shen. move from Latov, getting that minor drone, that will delay yeah. the second War Factory from Shen 6. Absolutely, a great late game drone, well, mid game drone, very, very nice out of Latov there. Now Latov out with a radar already, but he will notice his economy, he's going broke, he hasn't been able to get all of those gems on his side of the map, and it's I, I didn't awesome. know you could build that barracks forward, you know, with those gems on. Father goes down, chip damage on the rhinos on the right side here. Oh, I mean on the bottom left side. Nice deso by Lato. That's killing all the fodder and getting a chip damage on the tanks. Well, that Shen, so uh, a lot of getting good value oh, there. And here we go, nice. another deso. Wow. Two tanks for free for Lato while Shen6 tries to go in. Indeed. Oh, the tank, tank, tank numbers from Latov. are in Shen's favor at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Latov's gonna be forced back here, big time. And uh, he's gonna try to hold on, but Sentry Guns here, not sure the Death is a little bit AFK, he could really use him right now up there. And uh, Latov trying to defend here, trying to hold on, he is getting good value per Rhino. I don't but... think he can hold this, Shen 6 oh, with the gems. Nice. Nice Desolator there. Yeah, Three but wars, look at, look at these crazy... Four, four wars, and every Miner is on the gems. Mm. Why are you? Yeah, Latov is kind of screwed here. Uh, he's going to try and go in here, get some value. He does get a few rounds. Nice, uh, nice from Latov, bro. Absolutely good value, good value. Now, uh, Latov does have more miners than Shen. Uh, Shen is going for the other two gems. War factories. Yeah, Shen is just greedy on those gems today, going full on heavy economy, and it's working out for him so far. Uh, Latov somehow. <laughs> Still in this, he was so behind the Not second Not moving goal. his MTV though. He has no choice, he's, he's running out of ore in, in his point. The Desolator in the perfect defensive spot down there. There's a drone, drone coming in. For Does get a Desolator and then retreats. Um, yeah, total damn. map control for Shen6 though. Yeah, I, I don't think that have got a chance here. It's like... Very, very aggressive. I never saw like this. Absolutely. Latov in, in trouble here for sure. But look at these engagements. Latov keeps getting good value. Really, really good value. 
I mean, the but, Desolators by the Desol King is just his, like, saving moments, but I don't think it will last for long, because look at the uh, war numbers, it's just... Well, again, again, Latov still with the same amount of tank numbers in here. This engagement looks like it's going to look in Shen's favor. Latov with yeah. too many tanks with low health. Shen has a lot of smoking rhinos here, but Nothing at here, this exactly. moment, it looks like it's too and late. And look at the war of Shen 6. is just no distance to bring the reinforcement for Shen 6. And it's over. Indeed, indeed, indeed. It is totally and completely over. Very, uh, very impressive game there from Shen. Very impressive defense from Lantoff, but it was not enough. I will be back momentarily. I'm going to go fill up my bottle. That was a nice build or it says root indeed. Very, very, very aggressive play from Shen Im 6. And that of choosing impasse. Yeah. Shen6 may go America or something here, but he will stick to Iraq. Yeah, Game number 8 in this best of the 17 boys, first to 9, we are on impasse. Latov spawning top left and Shen6 bottom right. So versus so, Iraq versus Iraq. There we go, impasse with oils far away from your base to expand. You got an airport as well in the top left and bottom right corner. We might see both players with an MCV move early on in the game to get the gems. For Shen6 it will be mid or right and for Latov it will be top mid the gems. Playing versus Woody. Who's playing Woody? <laughs> we uh, come as plus a... plus plus. <laughs> Ant is playing, but it's a show match. It's not Ant is playing Woody. No, NG, NG Easy wants to play Woody, right? This, this is a best out of 17. First to nine, Airsbet. MCV move from Latov. To the gems, he needs to move a little more. He will place his MCV near the garrison buildings there. But the drone is low health though for Shen 6. Low health on that drone. Para drop on the gems from Shen 6 as well. Sentry. And now that building can target that that sentry. Yeah, it, it gets did. sold. Very annoying garrison building there, top for Shen 6. Lot of sneaking the, this uh, Connie's to get that mi minor drone. And a sentry behind the trees there for Shen 6. Oh, the other minor goes, oh, the drone goes down. And Shen 6 will sell all sentries. I think he clicked, clicked it. He, he did click the drone. Shen 6 on 6 minus versus 4 from Latov. Double War Factory for each. Latov with 4 rhinos on the field versus 1 from Shen 6. And now got, gets the minor drone bottom right. So Latov targeting that miner. That miner has to go all the way to the top there to get repaired. It will make it though. Yeah, first to 9 as but It's best that is. 17 that is, yeah. Latov on the oil will deny Shen 6 the expansion. He will surely get that oil. So Shen 6 left without an oil. 
And he will garrison more buildings top right. Nine Rhinos versus five for Latov. As he is making his way towards Shen 6 base. Splitting at the bottom and... Oh, nice TC from Latov. Beautiful TC. But he still loses bottom left. Oh, no, no, no. He wins the, the, the battle bottom left. That, those are uh, Latov's tanks. Latov's yeah, tanks, yeah. Yeah, he That's will cool. continue to push with two Rhinos at the bottom. He gets a Miner near the gems. And he's still out tanking. Might get a second Miner here. This is Latov's game. While Shen6 go for, goes for tech. And but he might get a third. Destroy. Is he going to cancel the IC? And Shen6 quits. GG. Latov's everywhere in this map. That of beautiful plays and great observation by Afusai getting all the action there as well. So, yep, yep. impasse goes to Latov. The score is 5 3. Well played, Lati says Sanchez, who has just joined. Let's go, Sander in the house. VIP. All right, Dufus, what did I miss? Oh, you missed an incredible game by Latov on impasse, bro. Oh, yeah, another one for him. Another one for him. Let's see. Can I make Sanchez a VIP? Okay, okay, okay. Sanchez, I'll make you VIP, so I need to do it. No. In stream manager. Yes, Absolutely he deserves not. It. Sanchez what? deserves a VIP. What Why? rank is Shen 6 in China? Guy, do you know? Sandstorm what, is asking. What, what rank is Shen 6 in China? Yeah, it's uh, top I will 10. Just check it out. Yeah, of course he's in top 10. He's top 6 at the moment. Shen 6 top 6 at the moment. Shen 6 Shen top 6. Top six. <laughs> That's one way of uh, remembering it, boys. Shen 6 is <laughs> top 6. Let's go. That's what she said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, 6 in good. China means uh, awesome, you know. He, oh, his, his name is awesome. Yeah, uh, Shen means God in China. He's like the awesome God, his name. So oh, right, right. And what does eight means? I got two of them. What does the eight mean? Uh, I don't think they mean something, but we, we could uh, mean like this is OP Doof, you know? <laughs> OP Doof. How about Shen seven? <laughs> seven up, let's go. It is Shen six to pick the next map. He's about to be Shen 7. <laughs> <laughs> he's about to be Shen 7. Oh, he's about to be Shen 7. All right. <laughs> Shen top 7. Now I get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I messed up that joke. All right. Uh, so what map will be the choice here? Uh, impasse. No, the impasse just happened. Impasse just happened. Oh. Yeah. It's uh, Shen 6. I, I missed it, Doofus. Bro, it was a beautiful game. You have to rewatch it. God damn it. How come exactly when I don't look? <laughs> I'm joking. Alright, so, uh, so, so, Shen's choice of map now. Yep. Shen 6 is just. What map could I beat like Lato? Come back. Looking through the lists of maps here, trying to decide which. Uh... He chose one. Which one? It's the wrong one. South Pacific. Interesting. No. South Pacific, okay. No, it's Pacific Heights. Sorry. Yeah. They both in the uh, backups, I believe. Yeah. Pacific Heights, you saw it, Doof. Yeah, it was before. a great game yesterday. Was it? I believe so, yeah. Marco just quit it, do you remember? Yeah. He got the NGs eaten. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, was versus, is... that was versus Latov, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This so wasn't Latov... yesterday versus Woody. They didn't play this map yesterday. No, no, they no. didn't. Okay, so legend of oh, a legend. My goodness, what the fuck? Um, Latov spawning <laughs> again. <laughs> again, what the fuck? Latov spawning bottom uh, right and Shen Six top left, both going as Soviet Iraq. We are on Pacific Heights. Yeah, so Shen chose this map and he's going Iraq here. Uh, was he hoping it's a map with a lot of NGs involved and luck and 
Like what? Uh, is, what do we? There is a map of this. There is the oil. So it's like four islands if you see it's snow. Yeah. No. My question is, why did Shen choose this map? Do we think, or is he just good at it? Um, it's a strategy and the luck map. So if he got a kill on the do on any lot of Zinji, it could make him like way ahead. You know. At the same time, he might lose an Zinji and just be OP behind dog there. Indeed, uh, yeah, so Shen not really getting a good scout here on Latoff's base at the moment. And we are seeing a flag track out for Shen, not exactly sure what's in it though. Uh, Latoff has gotten three oils, I believe. Yeah, both of them. Shen 6 also with one oil at the top right there. Oh, the drone missed the Ooh. flag but we'll get in now so then yeah the drone is faster than the flag oh, let's get in uh it had a drone in it so its purpose was to get a miner not uh, not an oil uh latoff now with his own flag out perhaps considering uh stealing something with engineer a radar out for shen yeah this map is not also you go straight lap deck you know so you you can make a dreads and Put it on the other side of the map. Matt, thanks for the raid. Fortune's Chaos with eight people coming in just in time. Well, just in time. You're ha we're halfway there, boys. 5 3 is the score in Latov's favor. Versus Shen He six. didn't miss the party. There's best Marco seven. and Todo after this. Yes, sir. Best of uh, 17. First to nine. Right after this, we go Marco versus Todo, like Todo. Guy said. Yeah, Todo. let's go. And uh, they are in the loser bracket, so. If Shen 6 loot this, he's out. Or Lato. Lato gets the building garrison. Well, yeah, Shen gets, yeah, well, he doesn't really um, get any value. Oh, it was Shen 6. Oh, it was Shen 6. Uh, yeah, and now Shen. Shen... Is, uh, light blue, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, an IC out for Shen just a second before Lato. Well, few seconds double naval yard now shen having control of the airport in the center is able to make a very forward naval yard squid out for latov already to counter uh waiting next to shen's naval yard they've got as soon as the dreadlock comes out the question is will it get a single shot that no, doesn't even get one shot off it goes straight down uh yeah, probably nice was nice yeah, i was probably trying to get those oils there but uh very, very fast uh, squid there. There's not a flag allowing sneaking. It not... Oh, oh, it was an Ivan. Oh, wow. And that oh, Ivan wow. just just blew the shit out of Lat of Soils there. That was very smart. And I think we missed that. Lat of got the oils on the left side as well. Uh, I think Alfred is missed that. Yeah, Shen 6 doesn't have oils on the left side either. So they're, I think they're equal oh. on oils. Two oils yeah. each. Yeah, so yeah that's, that's why Shen 6 was going. Like, he needs to finish it as well. Lata destroying that garrison so that these conscripts can't get in. Uh, cleaning up that power drop very nicely. So both players down to two oils only. Shen 6 getting a split to the right hand side here. To Latov's uh, juicy jams here. It looks like Latov has moved into position to defend this. The IC gets popped for both players. An offensive one for Shen, a defensive one for Latov. Latov we'll splitting on it. the left side. Latov splitting, trying to get some value here. Going for these miners on the gems as well. And it looks like he Shen didn't really even get a miner on the right hand side, uh, which is kind of surprising considering nice he had the offensive the IC. Uh, does lose his battle lab though. Latov does lose his battle lab, and uh, Shen defends his miner successfully on the left hand side here. Not sure. So though, far, that... so good. A desolator in the center here to completely block Latov off from entering that zone. So a very nice uh, uh, map control here from Mr. Shen. Latov kind of stuck in his corner. Uh, Squid Wars are going on in the water as we speak. In the meantime, Alatov can approach from the right hand side instead. Did Latov lose his MCB? No, that's fine. No, 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 it's a, he brought it back, yeah. And uh, Latov coming and approaching here on the right hand side. Garrison's being fully garrisoned here in yeah, the nice. defensive position. 
uh, I think Latov's main objective should be don't allow Shen to get another offensive IC, force him to use it defensively or something like that. Um, As we talking, uh, Shen is on eight minus, but Latov is on six. I see his pop, and we go. Latov will push in here offensively. And, and, going and to that's the exactly MCV. what you want. Yep, that's exactly what you want. No, he's gonna I go see. straight past the MCV. Oh, is he gonna dive on the IC here? I don't think he's gonna he, get it. I don't think he, he's gonna he get will. it. Gets oh, it. he gets it. That is crazy. Wow. So that's that's some value. And one gitter on tank survives. That is insane. That is insane. Marco uh, let off moving his MCB to the right hand side, but there is Rhino heading in that direction. Oh, an elite Rhino for Shen. Shen does have an elite Rhino amongst those Rhinos. Uh, Latov forced to try and defend this position. Not sure he's going to be able to. He might have to sell his MCV here. A barracks. Oh, out. Slater does Slater. come out. And on the left, Shen also uh, splitting up here. So Latov forced to defend that position as well. Uh, Latov? Oh, oh, Shen throwing away his tanks on the right side. Wow, Latov defends the right side. I think he TT'd. Oh, what a blunder by Shen 6 on the right side. Latov... Oh, uh, he might lose a war, but... Ah, uh, he's outing the second war. No, he doesn't get it. So he loses one war factory, but he gains an elite Rhino, and Shen loses an insane amount of tanks. Latov with an expansion on the right side, a, a successful expansion on the right side, uh, getting that ore. So uh, now Shen has rebuilt his IC, which is something to consider. Latov's IC is ready, it's so ready. Latov should be... Going That's in offensively, ASAP. Now an extra naval yard pops out for Shen, which will allow him to create ships uh, after winning the naval war. He will be able to make some dreadnoughts. And there we go, the dreadnought sneaks out from a separate naval yard. Might get some value. Uh, I see IC gets Lato. popped for yep. Latov. As he goes in for the offensive. He's gonna he go out. for the IC. He's yeah, gonna get the IC. MCV. Gets the MCV. Oh, I see. Popped on the IC. But that just delayed the inevitable here. Or oh, can Shen 6 hold? Shen 6 looking to hold. But the elite is doing work. Shen 6 holds this. Latov does manage to escape with the elite. But all in all, very, very nice defense there from Shen. Not really getting much value with that offensive. Shen constantly threatening the left-hand side here. Latov forced to leave quite a big group of runners to defend that. Now on the right, Latov a little bit threatened, but moving Desolators into position to defend there. And with the Elite, Shen can't really push. Shen now makes another MCV. And this Dreadnought is... Uh, well, this flag tracks the counter, I suppose. Wow. Dude, this game is not ending. Mm. I believe um, Latov should move in a little bit closer to Shen's base top right. His IC will be ready soon. He needs to prevent, he needs to avoid Shen 6 I seeing his IC again and just finish it. But he's, he's not moving in yet. His IC is ready and now Shen 6 IC will be ready as well. Yep, yep. That advantage isn't there anymore for Latov. Their tank numbers are pretty equal. Shen 6 out tanking by 2. Has more production than Latov as well. 4 war factories versus 2. And they're both that broke. So while Shen 6 has 4 war factories, it doesn't matter at this point, right? Yeah, I guess. You guess? Yeah, but with, the, with this kind of is, eco. He's hitting the boost because he's mining gems in the top right. Oh, oh, an offensive IC from Shen. And Latov Shen with a defensive after. one. Going for the IC here. IC survives. IC survives, wow. boys. Wow. Oh, nice. Wow. That's Shen... the game, I guess. And nuke out for Shen 6 as well. Ticking down 10 minutes to go. Ooh, the nuke is a huge move here. We'll see how Latov responds to this. He's uh, Shen was mining the center. Latov going to kick him out of the center here. Oh, he's Gets getting one miner. the miners. Gets two miners as value. Gonna get the airport, or no, he doesn't. Shen does come in with all of his rhinos. Lata forced to retreat. Elite still alive here. 
a lot of regrouped his rhinos as well. Yup, and uh, Shen's coming across the bridge here. Now, Shen has a few garrisons in these buildings. This will and he's see. moving his tanks next to the garrison. Ooh, he's pushing Elite. in. He's pushing in, boys. This might be Shen's final push. As I see, is ready, boys. Yeah, and he splits it. it up, and the IC will get popped. It does. Beautiful IC there. Half of Shen's tanks are in Latov space at the moment. Latov with a defensive IC, but loses the MCV on the right hand side, loses the lab as well. And the IC and, on the bottom. And the IC goes down. He might lose power here. He might lose his second war factory. And the nuke. The nuke I mean, goes down as well. Where's lot of tanks? I see there's... I see that... Uh, well, there's a base trade going on. There's a base yeah, trade going on. That's why I'm saying. As, as we see that Chen lost both of his super weapons and his MCV Lattov as well. Latov takes it, boys. Chen yeah. sings only on one war factory. And Latov oh, is still out out. tanking. Yeah, but still a lot of tanks in Latov's base, potentially. Mm, Latov has a... There's vessels. There's, there's oh, Latov's awesome. gonna ult to this last war factory. Yep, and he has He's an gonna get still. it. He has an He's gonna get still. it. Wow, Shen left with no war factory. Only Latov means the production it. is. Wow. Damn. Latov loves base traded. I, I know that. <laughs> 6 3 to score in Latov's favor, boys. Let off on fire, boys. On fire. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. He wrecked Ryan's yesterday and he is dominating Shen today. He is just looking unbeatable. Absolutely crazy. That's all for the win. Indeed. Uh, it is... It is 6-3. I think. Yeah, 6-3. Yeah. I thought he put in chat 5-3. It's 6-3. In Latov's favor. I think Shen 6 is done. He doesn't want to continue. What? He just quit and now Afusa is telling him, Are you done? Lobo Khan, oh, thanks wow. for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yo, Wait, what? why? He might have a know. forfeit here. It's not. It's not uh, because he said that, like Latov is too laggy. But this is not a sportsmanship, you know, thing to do. Some Come on, Shen, get back in there. The the world is gonna... What the fuck did he say, John? I missed it. Apparently, hmm. But he just joined and got banned. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> I love it. Ban hammer, boys. Oh, promotion? Oh, it was a butt? Okay, got him, boys. <laughs> John. <laughs> Trigger finger, boys. <laughs> I didn't even finish welcoming him into the stream. You got the band hammer. Oh, yeah. Thanks, bro. <laughs> John OB. <laughs> I'm texting John right now, bro. You're fast, bro. <laughs> got him. Absolutely. Insane. I mean... Shen6 is calling Latov is just a lagger, but what I saw in the last game that Latov outsmarted him, so... Oh. By the spread. Last game had nothing to do with lag, bro. I, I mean, even the chat, the game is saying is too good. Last game, they, they went head-to-head -head with ICs and Latov just making yeah. the right decisions here. Like Snark said during the first IC, we didn't believe that Shen6 got any minor out of that IC. And once you have nine tanks going at each other, um, both IC, you need to pick another target. You can't just go in and fight other IC tanks. Just get some miners along the way. 
I see he's gonna warn off together, so just get out when when that happens. So a lot of making the right decisions here, and we're waiting to see whether or not this series will continue. I think Afusai is messaging uh, Shen Six, right? Uh, I asked on the group, where is Shen Six? <laughs> Your boy, Pepe Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Let's go. Let me DM up a side. Yeah, a lot of excuses. That's right, uh, Arsenet. A lot of ex excuses. Whether or not this series will continue, boys, we have a next series coming up next. Marco versus Tudo in the same Jiangnan Cup fi uh, not finals, what am I talking about? Tournament. A yeah, guy just messaged uh, Afusai asking, is he done? What did he say? I will translate it. Just Wait a moment. Okay, so they are trying to get him back, you know? Because it's not good to make a series end like this in the tournament. So Shen6 did leave the lobby and they're trying to figure out whether or not he's coming back to finish the series versus Latov. Latov in the lead, 6-3 six, six the score. is complaining that Tokai speed is not enough. Mm, not enough FPS, okay. It's 54 FPS. And in Rambo it's like 58 FPS in CC, so it's, it's not that complaining. Marco played the series with 40 FPS, so... It's not about that thing. It's a tournament. You're gonna play what you're gonna play, you know. Yeah, Latin is on a rampage. GG's coming. I think Shen6 doesn't believe that he lost that, so he's gonna make an excuse. Hmm. Round one? <laughs> Osama in the chat, let's go. Mudra is here, let's go, boys. 